Hi class, um, this is your video boost for um, the first thing I want to talk a little bit about is spelling. So in class, um, someone pointed out to me that I was spelling Zuzaman wrong, um, and it should have been spelled Z-U-S-A-N-M-E-N, -E and that's the modern German spelling. I was using the old spelling. Um, the second thing is people frequently misspell the word ketone, okay? So the word ketone is spelled like this, not like this. Okay, so we live in the keystone state, or we're living in the keystone state right now, but a ketone is not spelled the way keystone is spelled. So I think people do this because we're in the keystone state. So it's ketone. Okay, and the next one, people are misspelling the word ester. So ester is spelled like this, but it's not like the name. I used to joke a lot that I, I should have named my children ester, spelled like this. But this is the name Esther, and this is the name Esther for the group that looks like this. Okay, the other word people misspell is Ethel. This really happens. Ethel is spelled like that with a Y-L, and sometimes people spell it like the name. Again, it would be great to name our kids Ethel, a chemist, name their kid Ethel and Esther like this. Ethel, right, that's the name. So it's, and we actually, people frequently do this, like 10 or 15% of the time. So that's a little spelling lesson. Um, the other thing truly is a boost in the sense that I, I'm trying to give you things to work on to get a little bit ahead in class. Um, so one of the things we started on Friday, we kind of like were nibbling in things on Friday, was this idea of um, assigning Z and E. And the problems I gave you were probably way too advanced on Friday. I was a little too ambitious. But one thing that comes up there is what do you do in terms of priorities if you have multiple bonds? So if you have a CC double bond like this, what do you do with that when you're assigning priorities? What do you do with, say, a ketone or a carbonyl of any type? What do you do with a nitrile? So if you're working ahead a little bit, you can read about this in chapter four. This will give you a little boost if you want to get ahead on this. But the way you deal with these situations, and I'm going to give you an example in a second, is that you treat a carbon being double bonded to carbon as being bonded to two carbons. So in terms of priorities, and again, this is completely arbitrary. This is not a bond. This is equals. This would be equal to this, okay? And these are just other substituents that are on here. So you say carbon double bonded to carbon is like carbon being bonded to two carbons. And then you would view this carbon the same way. So I call these dummy atoms. I'm gonna talk about this in class. I'm not, this is not the total coverage of this. This would be equal to this. Okay, and the O, so this group would be like this carbon is bonded to two oxygens, and this oxygen, I did that wrong, is bonded to two carbons. Similarly, a nitrile group would be a carbon, it would be considered as a carbon bonded to three nitrogens, and then the nitrogen being bonded to three carbons. These are, and these are what I call dummy, dummy atoms, they're not real. So when you look at this, you would say, this is equivalent to being bonded to three nitrogens. What's my time? Four minutes so far. Okay. So to show an example of what we were doing in class, and some people needed a little help with this. I have a problem I wrote out for you guys. So this is similar to the problems on those sheets. And as I said, we were a little slow last week, so we didn't get quite as far as I hoped. So this is a good example of prioritizing. We have more to do. We're going to do problems in class. So don't get worried. Okay. Okay. So this is not an easy problem. All right. Um, I'm going to get a couple colors. Oops. Okay. So... 
remember what we said in class is when you're using con angled prelog nomenclature, um, which is the EZ or the ZE nomenclature, um, what you're doing is assigning a priority of number of one or two to this side and one and two to this side and seeing where they sit with respect to the double bond. And I told you, you do this bond by bond, level by level. That's what I said in class. So on this side, I'm starting on the right. At the first level, I would compare two carbons, okay? And I'd say that's a tie. The next level, which is one more bond away, so this is one bond away, then I would go two bonds away, which I'm writing in green, okay? Some people can see right away what the solution is, but in some cases, it's fairly complex. So at the second, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> at the second level, it's HCC, H, I'm sorry, <coughs> HCH, HCH. And people noticed in class, I was writing it out in order of atomic number. And it's the first difference you see when you put it in order of atomic number. So this is another tie. So I'm going to go one more level out. So this is one bond away, tie carbon. Two bonds away, HCH, HCH. Three bonds away, I work one more out and I go, and one more out, which is my blue here, if you can see it, is a carbon, a bromine and a carbon. At the blue level, or three bonds out, it's chlorine, carbon, chlorine, okay? So if I wrote this down at the third level, it's bromine, carbon, carbon, and on this one, putting them in order. I'm putting them in order of their atomic number. Cl, Cl, C. I did this on purpose so you would see how it works. Bromine beats chlorine, that's the end of it. You're done. It's not like you're adding these up. Bromine beats chlorine, done. What gets top priority? This does. Number two priority? This does, okay? Now, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Do I have time? You're at 7.30. So. Okay, so I got to do this a little quicker. But on this side, oops, this side, again, the first level was carbon, carbon. On this side, it's carbon versus carbon. First level, tie, okay? Next level, okay? And I want to show you how to use these multiple bonds. Okay, next level is my green level. O, H, that wasn't drawn in, and a C. Okay, this one, this was actually supposed to be an O here, okay? This one, it is O, O, C. Okay, so what did I do there? I said being bond, double bonded to oxygen was the same as being bonded to two O's. So at the second level, I have O, O, C versus O, C, H. I'm putting them in order of atomic numbers. The green means I'm two bonds away. I'm comparing things that are, that are at the same level. So what wins? This O beats this C, and that's the end of the discussion. Okay? So what's number one? This is number one. This is number two. Okay? Now, if you look at your double bond, if the ones are on the same side, it is Z, which again stands for... Old spelling, I wrote Z-U-Z, -Z, but the modern spelling is Z-U-S-A-M-M-E-N. Suzaman, which means, as you know, together. And remember, E means entgegen, which means against. That I did spell right. Okay, so I'll see you in class tomorrow.